frustrating was it and how happy are you to be back? It's good. It's good to be back. It's good to be practicing. So I feel good. What was the most difficult thing to be? Obviously, everyone looks at you as an ascending young player. You were hurt last year. And you're going to take the next step this year, and then you, you put it out there. Uh, are you talking about like last year or this year? Uh, I mean, I feel like I got enough. I got a lot of good work in during OTAs, and I think I missed this year. I can't remember how many practices I did, but I got I got good camp practices before I before I missed practice, and I got OTAs. So I felt like I I got a decent amount of work so far this year. I got more work this year than I did last year because there was no OTAs. We had that introductory period in camp last year. I believe our first practice was probably like. First time in pads was like August 10th or 12th around there, and so this year I have I got way more work than last year, which has been good. How tough has it been just for this group in the whole? You know, dealing with so many injuries, and now obviously the, the Tevin Jenkins news that he that he's done for a while with the surgery. It, sh- it shows that uh, like our offense, like the people that are practicing. I mean, everyone on the offensive line is like they're dealing with like stuff, so it's good that like the offensive line, like the people that have been that have been able to practice, they've been out there. And the people that haven't been practicing, they've been doing everything they can to get back out and practice. In general, how, how long do you need with, with a tackle playing next year to, to get to get that chemistry right um, between you and him? Like five minutes, because <laughs> I mean, Coach Juan is teaching. Coach Juan is teaching the technique the same. He's teaching all the tackles the same, all the guards the same, centers, and so I mean, if they're all if the Teaching and technique is consistent throughout. It's pretty. It's pretty easy. So you don't. You don't need much time with your tackle or your center to to be with that. And we spend so much time. We're in meetings for five hours a day. We are at practice. We lift with each other. We're spending seven, eight, nine hours with each other. And so that builds like camaraderie. So you know that they're thinking the exact same way you're thinking when you're out there on the field. And so what was last year like for you? Just having to. It was it was tough at first. Uh, I mean, right like like right when I got hurt, like I mean, I I I thought I was hurt, and so I went to the locker room. Then, you know, I went to like pawn like a shoulder brace and uh and come back out and play. But then the doctor was like, you tore your pec. Then, I mean, I was sad. I was sad for probably, I was sad probably for like a week. Had my surgery. I was in pain the entire time. I was in my sling. That was awful. But, I mean. When I was hurt, I mean, I started, I started realizing, like, appreciating, like, the situation I had. Like, I so I live alone. So my mom came here to live with me during, like, because I couldn't drive. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't. I, and so she lived with me, which was very nice. I got to spend time with my mom. I got to spend time with my cat, with my girlfriend. And so it's, it made me, like, realize, like, really appreciate, like, the game. And also, it was also nice seeing that. There was that stretch in the middle of the season where the team was struggling, but at the end of the season, like they picked it up, and it was nice to see like the offensive line was playing really well at the end of last year. And where were you, where were you at right before the injury? Like, how, how confident were you in your ability at that point? <laughs> I felt like I was playing. I felt like we were all like as an offensive line. I felt like those. Like those first five weeks, I mean, I'm, I don't look at PFF, but I know you guys, you guys all have subscriptions. I mean, I could probably guarantee like our PFF grades were those first four or five weeks, those were probably the highest we had. And I felt like the offense line, we were playing good. Uh, offense was doing good. Defense was doing well. I mean, we beat the Super Bowl champs last game I played. So, I mean, it, I mean, I felt like we were playing really, we were playing really well when that happened. Where, where, do you, where are you at now? mentally compared to that that moment right before the injury I feel I feel better I mean I'm stronger my body comp my stuff is down my everything I feel like my technique is better and so I mean I feel I feel like right now I'm a way better player than I am when I got hurt last year I knew you were analyzing this but you're talking about when you're back you're talking about we and then you mentioned how the Bears rallied at the end of last season you said they when you're hurt like that do you feel like you're almost away from things and how what's that like what, how difficult is that no I tried to I came I mean I did my rehab and stuff every time I mean I did my rehab and stuff here 
And I, I went to meetings all throughout last year until, like, I had, like, a COVID scare. Then I stopped going to meetings. But, I mean, I, I, would, send, I would send, like, my sky reports and notes to the guys, like, pregame and things like that. I mean, the reason I said they is because they were playing. I mean, I couldn't. I mean, I was it. I mean, yeah, they have my scouting reports, but that, I mean, I'm not out there, you know. What was your COVID scare? <laughs> uh, it was a false positive. Then I, I was close contact with some other people, and, you know, uh, that's what happened. James, you, you and Cody are both guys who you know, you'll play wherever they ask you to play, but are you just eager to just – have a season where you're at one spot, you're healthy all year. I mean, how eager are you to kind of really, uh, I don't know, establish yourself uh, in in the league and, and and you know have the best year you can and just and, and be what you're supposed to be, I guess. Uh, position wise, it really doesn't matter. I mean, I can, I mean, I feel good wherever the Bears want me to play at. So I mean, of course, like I'm I'm eager to play, but I mean, it could be at whatever spot the team needs me at, and I'll be fine with that. Yeah, just just give him like words of encouragement. I told him like the same thing that people last year like told me. Like the good news for Tevin, I mean, he's young and he still has so much time to develop and grow into a, a very great player. And I, I mean, I, I don't know, I don't know like the details of his surgery, but I mean, the good. I mean, if he misses the full season or not. The good news is he has a full off season this like next year, and same thing like I did. Like I got hurt early enough where I could where like right after the season ended last year I was full go for everything else. So the good that's the good news is for Tevin like he's gonna come back stronger and better than what he was. Do you have individual goals? Do you ever think in terms? I know you're used to being part of a line as well, but do you ever think in terms of how of what you want to do or what you know what you want to be? Uh, I say my biggest goal is to not let the team down. So just being the guy that people on the team, offense, defense, coaches can depend on and just not let the team down. That's probably my biggest goal. What kind of cat do you have? What? What kind of cat? It's a, uh, she was a formal, like, feral cat. And me and my girlfriend, we adopted her from a shelter in St. Louis. She's, like, small and orange. So an orange tabby with a clipped ear because she was supposed to be a catch and release, but she wasn't. Kurma. Kerma, yes. What's it like? Uh, this is one last thing. What's it like blocking for an Iowa State running back? <laughs> does, that come, does that come up a lot? <laughs> uh, it comes up. I mean, our lockers are we're right next to each other in the locker room. I mean, it, I mean, it doesn't come up that much. I mean, the week of the, I think they play. They play week two or week three this year, so it'll it'll come up that entire week. But when Iowa wins, I mean, he'll be quiet for the rest of the year. <laughs>